Okay, let's talk time frames. Now, we were just talking and showing a chart from a daily perspective. Now, what does daily chart mean? It basically means if we want a daily time frame, so each candle is representing one day's worth of trades. That's what you've got to remember is the time frame represents what each candle or each bar represents. Or if you're using a line, the print, the final sort of dot, if you like, is the day's close. But I'm just going to stick from now on just with candlesticks and bar charts. So a daily is representing the total trade for the day. One candle, one day's trade. The higher the day, the lower the day, the closer the day, the opener day. Now, that's very, very well, and it's fine if we're looking to hold a position over several weeks. We want to see really what's happened in the day. But what about if we want to go into some more detail? What about if we want to drill down a little bit more and become a bit more active with our trading? Then we can pick a different time frame. Uh, and we can pick any time frame we like. As long as our charting provider supports it, we can go from down to one minute or up to one month or some even go from one second up to one year now obviously the, the higher the time frame let's see if we go into a month each candle is showing us a month worth of trade so the high of that month the low of that month the close of the month and the open of the month so we're getting the same information but just on a broader scale and obviously that means as you can see here if we're zooming out we've got each candle representing a month we've now got an awful lot of data in showing us a really really long period of time but the downside of that is we don't get to see exactly what happened during that month or we get to see other four price points so that's the pros and the cons of as you go up and down the scale so let's move right to the end of the scale now and go to a one minute chart now a one minute chart is Again, each candle is representing one minute of time. So when uh, when we have, uh, let's say for example, the, the clock goes to 12.30, from 12.30 to 12.31, then that candle will start to be formed. So the highest point the FTSE went in that minute, the lowest point the FTSE went in that minute, the open, which is what the price was at 12.30 on the dot, and then the close, which is what the price was at when the foot, when the time, should I say, was at 12.31 on the dot. So during that one minute, you're getting a visual representation of what the market did. Now, obviously, the upside of that is you're seeing far more detail. You know, if we zoom down this window, we've got kind of an hour's worth of, of information here. Um, but we're seeing far more granular level of what's happened. But of course, if we zoom out, we're kind of stuck and we've only can really get a day's worth of info. So we don't really know what happened five days ago, what happened last week. So we've kind of got to find this happy medium. So let's have a look at, say, a five minute chart now. Now, a five minute chart is is kind of a good um, middle ground. Do you know, a one minute chart is going to be used for your scalping, for your for your aggressive entries, for that kind of thing. A five minute is a good way of looking at the bigger picture. You can get, you see you've got a couple of days, and I've got this squashed down a bit just for this video. If you've got it on a bigger screen on your desktop or, or even on your laptop, you're going to be able to get sort of three or four a day's worth of trade in there. So you can kind of start to see exactly where we are relative to yesterday. So you get a little bit of the best of both worlds. You get that granular level of seeing, you know, what the high and the low for each of those five minute periods was, the open and the close. But you also get to see a kind of a bit of a pattern. And if we flick over to a line chart now as well, you know, we can see that it becomes a little bit easier to see that on a candle, the short time frame we are. It looks very, very similar. Another popular time frame to look at is the 15 minute. Now, 15 minute again, we're going a little bit further out. We're not quite as high as a daily, um, but we're getting more information in, but we're still seeing the shape of the trade intraday. We're still seeing exactly kind of what happened during the day. And if we look at, you know, just the example that we have on the screen here, you know, we can see in this 15 minute chart that this was our low, this was our high, this was kind of the range we went, this is where we closed, this is where we opened. And you can get a visual idea of ultimately what the daily chart is even going to look at. The daily chart is going to look uh, kind of like that isn't it we're going to have there's our open uh, there's our close um not very broad and then not much of a wick either side of it in fact it's probably going to even look even narrower than that isn't it if you look at it the scheme of it so you, you can visualize what the daily is going to look like but the 15 is giving a still a broad overview now another popular time frame is the one hour one hour again going even further out but giving us more you know we get a whole month worth of information you get a whole month worth of information in but we can still see the highs and the lows we can see your key levels and we'll talk about support and resistance in a moment and what they mean how it works and everything but we can still get a visual representation so 
you know, I could go on forever here. I could say a two hour, four hour, whatever. And another thing is actually very popular is a four hour chart because you're getting, again, more information. But the point is, you use the time frame that suits your goal as a trader. You know, if you are trying to trade on a very short term basis and you're trying to trade, uh, you're trying to make a profit over the next kind of five, 10, 15 minutes, you're not going to use a four hour chart to make your decisions from. Now, you may well use a four hour chart to look at the bigger picture so that you're aligned with the bigger picture. We'll go into detail on that in a second. But to make your actual trading decision, you're going to want to use a one minute, a three minute, a five minute something small something that's going to represent really visualize what you're trying to achieve so when we're picking a time frame we want to think of number one what our objective is what our time frame objective is if we're holding for a long time frame we're going to go on a higher time frame if we're holding for a short time frame we're going to go on a short time frame number two we want to be able to see the bigger picture as well and number three we want to make sure that we have all the information that we need to make the trade now, what we don't need is if we're scalping on a one minute, we don't really need to go back and see what happened in 1987. It is irrelevant. It makes no difference whatsoever. So we've, we've kind of got the window that we need to look at and understanding that we either spread it out further the higher time frame we are uh, or bring it in depending on the, on the time frame we're trading.